they mouth, no doubt, it's all good Y'all just stay in y'all opinion But in the South and in the hood, it's understood Without saying it's a given And ain't cause of what I'm doing for a living It's more because of what I do and how I'm living Not to mention when I'm rapping I'm just heard niggas feeling And still chilling on DJ something DJ Scream, 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 Scream Keeping it pimping Whether crack was in the house The record sale through the ceiling So say what you want and do what you please But for fun, I shoot 22 for your shoes I think Snapple's a guilty pleasure I drank a lot, a lot of this. And this was a conversation for the fact that up until maybe two, no, three years ago, you're talking like 2006, I drank soda at a ridiculous pace. If I wasn't working, if I had a day when I was just home, I'd run, I'd run through a 12 pack easy. And I feel fortunate that I haven't had crazy, like, tooth problems because of all the acid that I must have put in my system. But yeah, so that ended up turning into Snapple, which some say is, isn't perfect, but, you know, it is what it is. Is everybody on LeBron James set right now? Okay. Um, yeah, so, the next topic... Miss Nix, one of the, one of my peoples up in Canada, asked me this question, um, I'll probably put her link, yeah, I'll put her link on the, um, on the actual posting, so you can go back and check her blog out, Miss Nix World's very, very nice blog of the, Topics range and you know, good good interaction amongst her followers and commenters. So definitely definitely check that out. Um, the question was, wait a second, was this her question? Hmm. No, no. You know what? She had two. She had two questions. You know what? Check her blog out too. But I'm actually I'm gonna go with Goddess's question first because that was the order it was asked. In. She asked me what's my view or opinion on long distance relationships have I been in any or was my experience um I'll give a generic answer I think they are difficult they're difficult but they're not impossible to succeed in it's all relative to distance to the position and the situations of the people involved the the mental and emotional makeup of the people involved. Like in every relationship, all aspects of things can play major parts into how it happens. You know, you could have long distance relationships that go smoother than people who are five minutes apart, depending on the type of people you you have in place there. Um, I'll give you my experience. That's really all I can talk from. I've had one. I've had one um, long distance relationship. It was actually my first relationship, first girlfriend. Um, I'll give the rundown. Was was in school, never saw high playing ball. Um, she was from what was this place called? Um, upstate a bit. Um, some city. I'm about to say small though. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going nuts. Um. Damn, I forgot. And she was from upstate a bit, so I said maybe a good three hours upstate. For whatever reason, there was a tournament. Her school was playing ball versus us. In our school, she was cheerleading. Um, saw her after the game. Guys were clowning and joking. Blah, 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 blah. You won't go holler. Which really was so not my my style is not for some reason I guess me being in uniform and the fact we the one I was here on myself so I know what's up up. It's cool, cool. This was senior year. And you know, everything kinda kinda was what it was. It was a nice exchange, basic information. It's fine, you know, we kinda settled up and kinda lost lost touch. Got back in touch with each other maybe well now we're now we're talking like 2001. I graduated in, in 98. So three years later, cross paths online. Black Planet, beginning of a social online networking. 
talk, yada yada yada. She came up from from Philly where she's original. Well, no, Philly where she was going to school and staying at. Came through with everything was cool. Kicked it off. So so you know what? Me being young, dumb, whatever. Felt a certain way. She felt a certain way. Rock with it. It was cool at first. She has situations, family that really wasn't so so present in her in her life, and basically it was on her own. Me not so much, but as time went on, New York and Philly is about two hours apart. Not today, it's not that big a thing. Back then, when I'm driving a 1987 Toyota um, Toyota Camry wasn't really that able to be there as much as I would have liked to. So I might have been able to hit Philly once, twice a month because I'm grabbing $150, $200 round trip Amtrak tickets to go there because my car is not making that trip back and forth like that. And I'm not working at that point at the level to um, maintain things. After a while, just it, it fizzled. You know, someone who was down there who, when I met them, was introduced as a good friend, turned out to be, um, you know, presenting himself as a as an option. And she went with it, you know what I mean? So, whatever, whatever, no, no hard feelings. We had, we've been spoken after that, everything was cool, you know. You live and you learn. My dumbass, and even her back then was talking about, yeah, I'm going to graduate from school, because I'm in college at this point now. I'm going to graduate from school, move down there with you, blah, 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 relocate to Philly. You know, love makes you stupid, we all know that. Um, in hindsight, I really saw there was nothing I could I could do. People need attention. People need to to feel a certain degree of attention from their significant other. And a lot of it sometimes is just being there. You could say and express all you want, but you're physically not there. In con in conjunction with other things going on, this makes it real difficult. And that's something I realized. What made it funny to me was the same. We, we split up, I think it was like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, it was like really how it officially happened. I'm not going into those details, but that same weekend of that week is when I got my Jeep. So technically, I would have had the ability to go back and forth more to Philly, but I didn't pick that up till after it happened. Whatever. Long distance relationships. They can be done if both parties want to do them. You're going to have to sacrifice something. There's something you're going to want you're not going to be able to get as readily as you want it. So you have to say how much is it worth dealing with this situation and this person versus getting what you want. Sometimes, like I said, it's just attention. Sometimes it's it's a more physical, sexual need that you feel you can or can't deal with, whatever the case may be. It's all subjective to, to the people. But I wouldn't tell a person not to do it. It's not what I, at this point in my life, would want to do. But I wouldn't tell someone not to do it. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, these days, relationships are relationships. I, I, I will say, if you're not dealing with an international circumstance, it's still feasible, you know, depending on what it is you're trying to do, how it is, how it is you get with people meeting on the internet now, that's becoming the case a lot of times, so people are flying around meeting each other for the first time and developing into relationships and you gotta deal with it that way. You know, it just kind of, um, it just kind of is, it is what it is, you know? Um. In the house, the record sale through the ceiling. So say what you want and do what you please. But for fun, I shoot 22 from your shoes to your knees. I run a record label and a crew of G's. So niggas are kind of.